I've been doing a lot of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Do you guys know Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Like, Joe Rogan talks about it a lot on his podcast, but it's still pretty cool, right? <laughs> what it is, is I show up to a gym in pajama pants and a bathrobe, and, and a much smaller, much fitter man, also in pajama pants and a bathrobe, tries to put his crotch right on my mouth for an hour, and I gotta not let him. And that's the whole workout. It's exhausting. <laughs> and just given my like size and demeanor, I'm always partnered with the heavyweights, which I don't think that like body size and weight is the right way to partner people for fighting. You know, the coach is always like, okay, big guys over here, partner up, uh, all right, blue belts and above over here. It should really be like, okay, everybody that's felt their father's love on this side of the gym. <laughs> Partner up. I mean, one day I was, I was training with this guy and he's huge and too into it. And he's just like, just like really going for it. And twice I had to be like, take it easy, right? Reel it in. This is just for funsies, you know? And then finally, I'm just lying there on the mat, just like panting and sweating. Just like, <sighs> and he walks up to my flat body and points down at me and goes, oh my God, you look really tired. Did you like have a hard day or something? This shouldn't make you that tired. What's the matter? And from the floor, I just pointed up at him and I was like, how old are you? <laughs> he goes, I'm 23. And I was like, ah. There you go. I'm 43, right? I had a perfectly normal 43-year-old's day. But an ordinary day for a 43-year-old is the worst day of any 23-year-old's entire life. It would crush you like a grape. Let's review what I did today, okay? I went to couples therapy with my girlfriend to discuss my abandonment issues after my divorce and the PTSD I got from testicular cancer. Then I came home and looked for a job for four hours. I mean, at this point, my laptop is just kind of like a slot machine where I'm just like, come on, new life, let's go. Big money. Really any amount of money. Let's go. Then I came to the gym to just get a workout, and now you're here. I haven't seen my real friends in years. We catch up at each other's parents' funerals, okay? That's how we hang. Honestly, you've been trying to put me in a chokehold for the past 45 minutes, and it is so nice to have just one clearly identifiable problem. I just wanna lie here and enjoy it. You know? Give me this.